Hello, and welcome to Retro Roulette, home of the Rancor. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forge Home of the what? And Jason Amherst. You know, the thing that Luke uh, Skywalker kills in uh, Return of the Jedi. And Billy oh. Carter. <laughs> hey. And we're spinning a wheel and making the deal. Uh, on first. Re- remember that uh, the Ooh. Rancor uh, tamer G-X-G. was very depressed after uh, the Rancor died. Yeah. Can imagine. <laughs> oh, 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 another banger. It's just it's like a Seamus match. It's banger after banger after banger. The previous episode was three bangers. This one's already starting oh, out with a good on. one. Yeah. Speaking of Seamus. So, uh, anybody see that picture of his chest after his most recent match with Gunther? Yes, I did. Ooh! Lovely. Damn! You look like a hamburger. Freaking looked meat. like a uh, looked like a freaking uh, slab of ground uh, beef. Yeah. Last time they were in Toledo, WWE, he actually stopped into the comic shop near my house. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you have the latest Moon Knight solo? Hmm? I was not there, but my friend who's the owner, I got his picture taken with him while he was there. He was actually going in there to look for Masters of the Universe toys. Ah. I, really, I really like that uh, He-Man fella. He's actually a really big uh, Masters of the Universe fan. Do you have many faces? <laughs> he did, and that's what he bought, was many faces. <laughs> Yeah. You know, he's got many faces. That's why his name is that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Evil in. Evil in. Oh, I fucking get it now. Evelyn. <laughs> Evil in. I thought your name was Evelyn. Wait. Hey, where's that Momra guy? <laughs> okay. I, can't, I, guess I, I, I love the I love the names of these freaking bikes. Boomstop, Gremlin, Freaker, Freaker, Venom Fire, Venom, Wasp, Venom. Ooh, Wasp, Wasp, Spectre. Oh, this is the Spectre. best. This is the good bike. You can see because all the stats like, are filled. I, I like everything's maxed out. Yeah, yeah, picking it. Aquanor, the Talking harbor. Talking it to the streets. Yeah, we played the first game uh, ages ago on yeah. the show. So. And that game is on uh, the Switch Online as well. Uh-huh. Uh, how do go? How do go? How do I go? How the fuck do I go? A? Try all B? Nope. Try the trigger button. There you go. Oh, it's Z. That makes no sense. As Z. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, F Zero with weapons. No, By all I'm means, behind a bunch. If, yeah. if they put weapons in F Zero, I'd, I'd like it even more. Do, 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 but then do, again, do, that's do, just do. Mario Kart at two hundred CC. <laughs> that is true. So the uh, the reviews are apparently in for that Jerry Seinfeld. Pop Tarts movie. So, like, averaging about forty percent, right? For the most, it seems like a lot of people think it sucks. Like, yeah, oh, it's not Pop Tarts. Imagine that. Inoffensive when, at best, <laughs> bland at worst. Well, imagine that when you become the old man yelling at clouds, going, "Ooh." Uh, the the liberals ruined comedy. Oh my god! We're not. I'm not allowed to say the n word. 
Pop tarts are for me. That's why you can't have Skittles anymore. Comedy is dead. Meanwhile, what did he say the N word? Michael well, Richards didn't have a problem with it. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Is looking over like, shut the fuck up. I mean, hell, how many seasons was freaking uh, Seinfeld's spiritual successor on television for? It just ended. Sunny? Or oh, enthusiasm? Uh, twenty some years. Yeah, yeah like, but it's not. It wasn't on for was twenty like, seasons. Off and on for like, it was like, t- yeah, like not, twelve seasons, but it's uh, across like twelve seasons over across 20 twenty years. five, twenty five years. Cause it started in two thousand. Hey, well, yeah. Hey, well, should we remember when Jerry Seinfeld was dating a seventeen year old? That's right, Peter. Hey, just Peter, just a number. If grass is on the field, play ball. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what he's. That's basically what he was saying. <laughs> I mean, the, between that really good Jerry Seinfeld impression and, and that would be what he would say. Oh, come on! It's not like she's four. What's the matter? <laughs> oh, what's the deal with age-gating relationships? If I, if I told her if she... <laughs> I told her if she got straight A's and let her fondle my balls. <laughs> I told her if she passed her math finals regents, I would let her suck my wiener. <laughs> I prefer to date people who have no idea who I am. <laughs> I think that I knew exactly who he was. Because it's not grooming if you're famous. <laughs> I don't even. Seriously, I don't know what you people like, are talking about with the grooming. I don't even brush her hair. I was gonna say I'm not brushing her teeth. What's the <laughs> matter with you people? I might be washing her cooter. <laughs> my semen. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> my semen. Oh. Semen. Hello, yeah. man. <laughs> You know, somebody proved me wrong. Okay. It seems that most of the people, most of the comedians who rant about, oh, comedy is dead, you're not allowed to be funny anymore, are the fucking has-beens like Rob Schneider and Jerry Seinfeld. Rob Schneider, a has-been? You have to be before you can be a (laughs) (laughs) has-been. Right, yeah, that's true. You know, the funny thing is, they're complaining about all this. I only uh, have a career because of him. But did it stop Robert Godfrey from saying what he wanted? I really really can't knock Rob Snyder for having a career due to Adam Sandler because, let's be honest, there's at least one person on this call with us who also has a career due to Adam Sandler. (laughs) Kevin James. That's right. It's it's more so that uh, Kevin James bought me a freaking TV in bed. That's true. He... <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, it's me, Kevin James. <laughs> I, I got you a TV. I'm going to place it right here. You you just rest that gorgeous ball pad of yours. And, uh, I'm going to go, do... go do King of Queens for 11 seasons, okay? Yeah, buddy? I'm going to go bang Leah Remini. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. Ray, I'm gonna uh, go. Uh, okay. Who who would it? Anybody here? Yeah, I, 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 know, right? I still um, would. She could still get oh it. Oh my god. I was gonna say oh Leah Remedy Leah Remedy is fucking hot, so Yeah. That is a this, milf. This race just even... never ends. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's how going long on. This race is supposed to go on for or those lips. Oh my god, those lips on her. Listen. Which if ones? Leah Remini Both. Yeah. Fair. If Leah Remini came up to me right now and said, Hey Dan, you wanna make out? You best believe I would I would be saying yes. <laughs> uh yeah. I'm like, can I rub my penis across your lips? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Can I brush your teeth with my penis? I mean, I mean, I, I was in Scientology for a couple of years. I'll do anything crazy once. I dated a girl that had, um, had you know, large lips, and uh-huh. uh, I used to do that with her. 
<laughs> but then you pulled her yes. pants back up, right? And then you. <laughs> oh no, you I touched know, those lips too, but. I'm... Well, now that Billy's made this thoroughly uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, can I, can I ride your pussy like a? Yeah, you know, I did actually... a girl with DSL once. We didn't really have that good of a connection. Yeah. Wah. Well, yeah, they got to close around it to form a vacuum. That's why. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a good connection, because <laughs> then that sucker <laughs> won't just, won't let go. You know. Oh. Uh, named uh, named her the Dyson. She had the proper amount of suction. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm done. Goodbye. No, nah, you're not. <laughs> I thought I thought <laughs> I thought it was the Dyson because you only had one ball, <laughs> but it was a big one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, hey, everyone! Hi, it's me, Roger. What has nine arms and socks? Def Leppard. <laughs> oh, you know that one. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Analog for Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> I'm, I may or may not be a homosexual alien. So that also describes Charles Nelson Riley. Strangely. It's true. Yeah. But he was a homosexual. <laughs> but he might not he may or may not have been a homosexual alien is what we're saying. That, we know he, no, he we know alien. he was a homosexual, but <laughs> Oh no, no, he was an alien. Oh there, yeah. there's no doubt he was. <laughs> yeah, he, you see, you see. If you've ever watched me, him on Match Game, you would agree. <laughs> yeah. Me and Rock Hudson, we like to play Where's Woodruff. Usually it's at my ass. <laughs> <laughs> stick it out, stick it in, pull it out, pull it in. Oh, Mr. Fister. My favorite game was Mr. Bucket because you were putting balls in his top. <laughs> <laughs> It's no wonder why they wouldn't let me back in that Toys R Us. <laughs> I think I misunderstood. Brad Summers <laughs> told me not to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, well, what the fuck is this? But, but she was she was too busy making jokes about her ex husband Jack Klugman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she she had a crusty old vagina. I mean, you know what's funny? I mean, probably. People would have think that, you know, people our age would get, you know, get these jokes or know who these people I, are. I fucking love Match Game. That's one of my favorite things to watch. Yeah. I've seen practically every episode. Watch Bewitched with him on there. Bewitched. Charles Nelson Bryant. Yep. Mm. I mean, I know the guy is as McLean Stevenson. Most people just think, "Oh, that's just that guy from Mash, right?" You're right. Exactly. No, McLean Stevenson. Oh, okay. So there's that meter at the bottom, and you're destroying waves. Oh, You've really? Destroyed only two waves so far. Oh, awesome. that's why my race is never ending. I, yeah. I hate. Yeah. I hate, well, um, I hate to do an unexcuse. Um, but it was Paul Wind was on the rich, not Charles Nelson. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. But he was another one. I was. <laughs> yeah. He was. He he was he was the guy that made Hollywood Squares what it was. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, maybe that meter in the middle is not waves. It said wave destroyed, but. I don't fucking uh, know. Maybe accoutrements have borked it. I don't know that I have any accoutrements on for this. I mean, it says it at the bottom of the window. Oh, does it? What? So what fucking cheats do I have on that could be borking this? Let's see. Only things. Let's see. I have infinite shield, nitros, lasers, access to all characters, bikes, and tracks. Yeah, I'm not sure what could be the problem there. Yeah, 
again, I'm not sure. Maybe this is just a score attack mode? It said it was arcade mode. I'm not sure what that entails. Like un until until you go boom? I guess. But I never will because I have infinite shields. Until you yeah. go So that could be a problem. <laughs> I'll just quit then. <laughs> didn't, realize that was gonna be an, didn't realize that was going to be an issue. In any event. Yeah. Thoughts on Extreme G XG2. Dane. That was pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Enjoying this racing game. Uh, yeah. Don't have anything bad to say about it. Alrighty. Jason. Yeah, no, not bad. You know, it's, uh, I mean, it's no F0, but uh, it's close. Billy. It was a fast action type game. Uh, I definitely, if this ever came out on the Switch, I would definitely play it. I know the first one is like I like Jason said earlier. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, no, no, this is great. This is just as fun as the original game. Um, so I mean, the the makers of these games are they know what the hell they're doing. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's fast paced. It's fun. It's action filled, and it's just all all around a great game. Scores out of 10, Dane. Nine. Jason. Eight. Billy. Uh, 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 eight and a half. Uh, I'll just say, I'll just put eight. And then I'll give it a nine. Okay. Boom. All right. Let's uh, Mist, spin this wheel Mr. again. Mr. Fister. Mr. Fister. Uh, Probe Entertainment, a.k.a. Acclaim Studios London. Knife Edge. Nose Gunner. Isn't that great, bro? Bro. Bro. Chemco. Chemco. Bro. 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 Knife Dice Edge. Edge. Nose Nose Gunner. Knife oh, Edge. Badly, Nose Gunner. Manly oh, no. game for manly people. With manly penises. Sure. And manly chest hair and manly balls and manly butt cracks on the walls. Uh, <laughs> this is apparently a rail shooter. Switch, oh, okay. Switch back over real quick so I can stop and restart. There we go. Anytime I see Chemco, I think it's like, oh, Lord, is this a drug company in Fallout? <laughs> Chemco! Chemtrails. Try Jet. You know, keep you up all uh, night. One to four players. A uh, player, while moving between locations of the game in the knife edge ship, controls a cursor that fires Vulcan cannon bullets. When more than one player is playing, each cursor is color-coded to distinguish them. Uh, movement of the vehicle is clearly predetermined, but the player is given some ability to move in the form of the C buttons. When a button Ooh, is depressed, can, the ship will move slightly you, in the corresponding direction. You can pick a path. Oh my god, there's so many path selections. The C and enemy button. Wow. You got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I'm just going to go A for now. Okay. Nintendo Power gave this a 6.7 out of 10. Oh, not bad then. Electronic Gaming Monthly gave it a 5.5. GameSpot gave it a 4.9. GamePro gave it 3 stars out of 5. Game Informer gave it a 3 out of 10. The Mitsu gave it a 22 out of 40. Ooh, those, those reviews got steadily worse. Uh, overall, it has a 58% on game rankings. Well, it's, it's, oh, well, it's... It's, uh, according to N64 Magazine, a light gun game without a light gun. 
probably would have been better. I bet you if this would have been an arcade, it probably would be better. Yeah. This this probably would have been great with a light gun. Too bad the N64 never got one. That's true. It never did. It, it, and there were so many games that would have been great on the N64 that was light gun. It's the only reason why the, the N64 is an HDMI moddable console compared to the others. Like NES, SNES, Genesis, Saturn, PlayStation, like they all have light gun attachments. N64, no light gun, HDMI, baby. Uh huh. The, the Genesis had a light gun? Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Lethal the Enforcer. Yeah, I was say the Enforcer, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, also the uh, the uh, well, yeah, it is the enforcer. It it did yeah. have its own light gun. Uh, yeah, Sega did have their own, but uh, the one that always comes to mind is Konami's lethal enforcer guns, which you could use on those other light gun games. Yep, I know people that threw uh, away uh, the top Sega's. part is uh, the uh, lethal enforcer guns. It's always hard to find the player two gun. Yeah, but I knew people you that, had to mail away for it. But I knew people that got rid of the uh, the battery powered gun or the Sega Genesis mm. and just used the lethal enforcer gun. Yeah, because it was just plug into the system. Interesting. I mean, yeah. I tell you what, best light gun ever made was for the NES. I mean, the Zapper is a classic. It's accurate. You can still get ones that are, you know, like nearly 40 years old and they work. Yeah. I had one that stopped working, but it was because the cord was frayed on the inside. That's why it stopped working. But I got one that was built in 87. And it still works to this day. That boss just instantly destroyed. Yeah, that's because I fucking S-bombed it to death. <laughs> thanks, thanks to accoutrements. <laughs> yeah! Like, what the hell just happened? I asked it to death! I sex-bombed it to death. Flawed. I sex-bombed, sex-bombed. You're my yeah. sex-bomb. <laughs> just recommended to me by YouTube Music, Obscurest Vinyl. Ain't that a kick in the cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Dead City. Oh, that's a Breaking Light Religion track. Walking around with my arms like this. Stuck like this. Fuck. <laughs> There's a hole in the crater. Gotta walk like a douchebag. Who are we are life. in this dead city? Ain't gonna be so pretty. Who are we are in this dead city? Gonna walk around and see some golf titty. I really need golf titty. Golf titty, big golf titty girl. Who doesn't like a big titty golf girl? I mean, crazy people, that's who. Yeah. You don't like a big titty golf girl, you're not American. You're not American. Of course, I think all other people like big titty golf girls, but yeah. Gonna I'm sure there's some Canadians out there who are like, oh, I like big titty golf girls, eh? Oh. oh. Sorry. Who doesn't? Crazy maniacs. Uh, there'd be the one guy, I don't like big titty girls. Then, 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 you know what? You could you go sit in the corner and play with your cars. I'm an ass man. Bam, bam. Your ammo is weird. Bam, bam. Hey. I like to suck them. I like to fist them. Mr. Fister. That's hmm. been a running joke on the Bob and Tom show lately. Good for them. Fister, 
fist her. Never know how much I missed her. I ain't ever going to let you go, fister, fister. <laughs> I'm glad they knew what I was referring to. The odd thing is that T and Tamara Mori were still in it. I don't understand that. <laughs> don't know. I don't know either. So, uh, Mr. Fister, that's the uh, cousin of Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fister wants to. Senior miss Clean gets it done sometimes with my penis. Sometimes with my penis. What? what? Sometimes with my cow. Sometimes with my boobs. You guys with remember? Uh, C remember C Lab Twenty Twenty One? And now no, not, no, not at all. And now 2021 is passed. <laughs> there, remember, uh, uh, um, what's his face? Um, uh, Carlos on there was played by uh, Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. Yeah, yeah. There's one. Yeah, episode I don't. Where I don't remember. I don't remember C Lab 2021 at all. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go uh, play with my Adrian Barbobot. <laughs> There's one where he's where he's babysitting a bunch of kids and he's dressed as a clown, and then he pops up out of nowhere and goes, "Senor clown!" And no, no, senor, don't do it. No, no, no senor. I was, I was at a, I was at a comic con and he was there, and I ducked down behind the a divider. And then I popped up right next to him, and I went, "See your clown!" And I about scared the crap out of him. And then he, and then he pulled, then he pulled security and kicked your ass out. No, and then he pulled his gun and blew your head off. <laughs> He's actually a Chicago yeah. police officer, believe it or not. No, We're actually, no, no, he actually, he actually, he actually laughed after that. He actually thought it was funny. But oh, by the way, he made a an appearance in Fallout. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that show is freaking awesome. And you're a it, is, it is great. This is a face. I don't like it. I am I don't like so it. surprised yeah. at how much they stick to the lore of the games. You know, there were a bunch of crybabies talking about that show, too, going like, Oh, but they destroyed that city. What about the lore? It's like, good. Fuck them. I'd rather I'd rather them do something original with the story than just go, hey, remember this reference? It's yeah. in the show. I, I mean, they have all of the things that make, you know, down to the drugs. They have Jet. They have the ghouls. They had the feral ghouls. All right. They had, you know, all the small things, little settlements and stuff. Yeah. Uh, how the vaults actually were because how the people acted in the vaults they basically had no social skills whatsoever outside of the vaults they're very robotic in how they are okay now they didn't have the robots really, except the you know the Mister, um, the the Mr. floating Fister. orb, yeah, Mister Fister, yeah, the the floating robot, Mister Fister. <laughs> it didn't have a Protectron or anything like that showing, but you know, the way it looks like, there's going to be another season. Oh yeah. Uh, Plus, Microsoft is now looking at Bethesda and going, "Why does it take you guys so long to make another game?" Do something! Come on! Where's the model? I wouldn't mind a Fallout 5, to be quite honest. I mean, the, they own enough studios. They can literally just go, Hey, you, make Fallout for us instead. Oh, okay. I mean, they literally own the studio that made the better Fallout game than Bethesda themselves. Like, hey, hey. you make Fallout 5. Okay. How many nuclear hey, hey, apocalypses can you, there be? You... Fallout 5? That's five nuclear apocalypses? Is, is... It's during Not the it. same time period. Nuclear... Wait, wait, nuclear apocalypses? Sounds no, crazy. there's only one apocalypse. It's just 
different locations around the United States. They need to do one in China, too, because it happened in China also. Uh, honestly, though, like, I'm more curious about, like, the Metro series. Like, I, I need to play the other two games. I kind of gave up on the first game because I suck at the stealth portions. But I also realized that the first game is a very accurate retelling of the book. And I already listened to, like, all three books. But starting with, like, the second game, the Metro games, apparently, like, go in a completely different direction. I'm like, okay, I'm kind of curious. You know what I find would be very funny? If, what? If, Men in drag. In Fallout, <laughs> in Fallout, they have one where you actually travel and then you get to this area of the world that wasn't even touched by the bombs. And everybody's still living their life like normal. Yep. <laughs> like before everything. Like, wait a minute. This is all right. I mean, like somewhere like South America or something. <laughs> Where the bombs that even touch. Honestly, you know? like Metro kind of fits in with Fallout lore. It's it's kind of crazy because like the entire like thing with like the Russian Metro being the equivalent of a vault turns out to be like a bunch of social experiments, and the rich have been living it up this whole time. Yeah. perfectly fine and normal and it's just like holy crap this is so fucked up and dystopian and it's like yep well i mean the series is sort of like that i mean i mean the the tv series i don't want to give any i'm not going to give any spoilers away it's just if you have the ability to watch fallout the series to it i'll uh I'll, I'll figure out a way. No, oh, I mean, oh, I don't. Sure I don't want to. I don't want to give Hefe Beeswax any more money. Hefe Beeswax. Hefe. For a couple of years, you already gave him your time. So. Yeah. Hefe. Hefe Beeswax. Hefe Beeswax. Hefe Beeswax. I had to pee yeah. in a bottle. Hefe Blues Clues. I mean, I, I almost had my arm freaking ripped off, or at least it felt that way. Hell, if it I didn't had even think anybody. Off, I didn't even know. I didn't even know you could steal an arm. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, hey, it's Shut the final level in uh, Star Fox sixty four. The Mayan Temple. It's you did well to get here, Star Fox. It's, <laughs> it's time for a temple run in which your grand prize will be a trip to the place you're already in. Oh, Lord. You mean Newark, New Jersey? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a giant sphinx. You're a giant you sphinx. Bumping. That you're totally destroying with multiple megaton bombs. What the? <laughs> oh, hey, Jace, I got a, I got a VTuber. I got a, I have a VTuber suggestion for you. Okay. D the Sphinx. Check her out. Uh, Porny the Giraffe. Dick. I think I've heard that before. I love Porny the Giraffe. Dick. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's not that he's a giraffe with a dick. It's that his dick is like a giraffe. It's true. Oh no! <laughs> I've been enjoying uh, Yancha Gogo really Go lately, and it feeds on the tops of trees. Wow! Mm. His dick is a vegetarian. I don't. <laughs> How? So, uh, I thought you were gonna say his dick is a vegetarian. A vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> what? It is. What? One, two, that's four, my two, one, uh, two. that's my astrological sign. I'm a Vagittarius. <laughs> I actually am a Sagittarius, so that makes even more sense. <laughs> you people, you people are crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm a November Sag. Anyway, you're a November Vag. <laughs> that too. I like November Vag. 
in the cold like November veg. Space veg. <laughs> giant space veg. Giant, giant space veg. Uh, giant space veg, aka Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. See our triple door aboard the 1964. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos. Come on, Jeffrey, lick my mouth. I'm at the station. I hear strange sounds. Please, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Baby, boop, baby, boop, baby, Oh, the the strange sounds? I'm just making mac and cheese right now. Oh. Oh, no. It's the strange sounds? I've just, uh, I put my, my weenie in some mac and cheese. Repeatedly. It's, uh, I think I'll go for a can of Mingus Dew. Mm hmm. <laughs> Ba boop ba bop bop bee bop cola. I'm gonna have a mung baby salad. Mung <laughs> Um. <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> oh. Um, um, um. Fucking level 11. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, um. <laughs> It's just a salad. Uh, among baby, is that, is that is that a baby a bogus? Sure. It's oh, not that it's a salad baby. made of the baby. The baby made the salad. Well, it's salad perfectly, perfectly, no, perfectly normal. Breaks. It's a perfectly normal salad. Just made out of, made by a baby. Among baby. How it goes? I just. I oh don't. my lord! Is this the human centipede? <laughs> oh no! It's ass to mouth. Go with fire. I'm killing it with fucking screen flashes. By the way, hey, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that for the first sentence of yours. I'm sure I put a warning at the we've, beginning. Uh, we've been beginning of the section. I had to put a warning at the beginning of the. Uh, so the episode that aired today was the one with Ashida Nojo in it, and I had to put a photo sensitivity, photo sensitivity, photo sensitivity warning for that there one. There you go. I knew you could do. For the size of sensitivity, God, it's fucking. Am I Scatman John? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said us one way. Yeah, Check out my message to you. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to hold you fact, back. If the scam man can do it, brother, so can you. Everybody so, says that the scam man stutters, but the scam uh, doesn't have a stutter when he sings. I'm gonna. What you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now, is that a stutter and a stutter and a scatter. I can't even do it. Fuck it. I'm the scat man. I love the fact that there's a version of the song called Scat Ultraman. And it's Scatman performed by Ultraman. Interesting. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Ultraman goes, shot! Shot, shot, And so it's shot, Ultraman shot, shot. wearing, uh, it's shot. Ultraman wearing the Scatman's hat doing the Scatman song. <laughs> it's still alive! It's merging with the commander. <laughs> I'll blast him. Oh, look at the dead! Look at the dead fish look on that lady. Yes, I will try to. I will try to save the commander by doing by uh, by by sh killing this thing, and hopefully. Nuke him. Wow. Oh, never mind. I saved him. I didn't have to you do shit. You microwaved him. I didn't have to do shit. I didn't press any buttons at all. He just died. Probably because he, no he was still suffering. He was still suffering. He was still suffering. Do you still remember our deal for dinner? <laughs> yes, but I have one condition. I'm going to milk your boobs. No. Serious sun panic in New Miami. New Miami. Yeah. <laughs> there's less drug. There's less flocka and naked rampages. <laughs> flocka, flocka, flocka. Mother flocka. 
Did I actually beat the fucking game? I think you did. Oh my god. If I beat the game in one fucking segment, that's fucking crazy. If you beat this game in one segment, I will poop my pants. You did! Oh my god. Well, well Dane, here we go. get to pooping. The infinite reaches of the galaxy is literally oh, in it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I gotta go change my plans. Excuse me. Anyway, before you do that, thoughts on Knife Edge Nose Gunner, Dane? Um, this was actually really fucking fun. I've never heard of this game before, but I was enjoying watching you play it. And the fact that you beat it in one segment is... It makes me so happy and so proud of you, son. Yeah, it's not very often that uh, you see a game get beat on Retro Roulette. <laughs> Considering we only have like 15 to 20 minutes to play it, so... The fact that the fact that we beat it is crazy, uh, Jason. You know, I just wish that this game had a freaking light gun compatibility. Like, damn it, freaking N sixty four. Why no light gun? What the hell? <laughs> what you do? Yeah, what would it have cost though? That's the problem. Not not just that, but not a lot of developers want to develop for N sixty four because it was still on cartridges, and. All the other competitors have moved on to discs, so, yeah. The end. Yep, that was straight up, I beat the fucking game. <laughs> straight up, bow to me. Do you really want to love me forever? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no. Dane has the top Knife score. Knife Edge! Uh, Billy, thoughts on the game? Knife Edge, chop. <laughs> Well, somehow, I, like like somehow I knew you were going to say that, and I can't explain to why. Because we have the same what? wrestling brain. Yes, when we hear knife edge, the first thing we think of is chop. That's fair. Uh, yeah, this was fun. It's like an, it's almost like an on rail shooter, kind of ish. Uh, it is on rails, but you get to. You get numerous path selections as to where to go, so you really, you really like just you 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 can kind of control where you're going, and it's it's a lot of fun. You, no two playthroughs will be the same, so it it is it's a it's a pretty good game. Good job, Kimco. Scores out of ten, Dane. Eight. Jason. Seven. Billy. Seven. I'm going to give it an 8. All the, I, I just saw a meme on because... Facebook that said uh, when it, when your girl sends you titty pics before you've ever asked for anything, and then it's a p picture of a box that says melons on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. Yeah. Will we go yet another whole record session without landing on a choice space? Yes. Bummer and hero. Oh, Though we actually came close to landing on Jason's choice there. <laughs> Damn. But we're going to get ourselves a fairly good game out of it. Ooh, good game. Yep. We've been nothing it's been nothing but good games this session. Has there ever been a bad bomber game game? I bomber don't know, game. but there's never uh, been yes. a but there's never been a bad bomber man game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Ever been a, a bomber game? Has there ever been a bomber game 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 yes, game game? There game. was one bad bomber man game, the one on freaking Xbox Billy's where like, they freaking like Billy's like having strong called bombulence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it seems like every franchise. Oh yeah, Act you know, Zero. Like, oh god, I forgot about that one. Yeah, no, Jason's right. That was the bad bomber man game. It was the gritty. Zero. It was fucking a gritty reboot of Bomberman, and Bomberman just oh, looked God. like a fucking douchebag. He's a giant it, douche it's, canoe. It, 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 well, it's the Xbox. Everything's like we gotta make it extreme. Yeah, he just looked Where's like my monster just, and he just looked like a lesser version of the Doom Marine. It's it's literally the generation that almost killed Japanese gaming. Yeah. Because they could, they couldn't stop wearing their DC shoes and riding their Razor scooters and drinking Mountain Dew. Uh, because they all want to pander to the Xbox because it came out a year before the PS3, 
and the PS3 was harder to develop for. So they were like, and also cost a lot more money. So people just bought the 360 instead. You ever notice all the really young kids were the ones and douchebags were the ones that went after the 360? Yeah. And they were always the guys that were making fun of, oh, you play Nintendo system? <laughs> the Primus star? Hi, kids. Do you like Primus? Of our islands. Primus sucks. Primus sucks. <laughs> there was a race car driver. There was a race car driver. He drove the goddamn fast. You better goddamn believe my name is Mud. Well, I know we got a break down here. We're running all the time. Don't hurry about me. Just worry. Wait. So Princess Vespa and TV Robo just got attacked. No one down the town, boys. What about Princess Vespa? I was I was making a joke that both you and Billy would probably laugh at because I was like. So Princess Vespa and uh, Mechazawa just both got attacked, and Bomberman's gonna save them. <laughs> oh, <boy>. <laughs> Princess Vespa <laughs> and Mechazawa. Merchandising, yeah. merchandising. The kids love them. Space balls, the flamethrower. How did he predict that Elon Musk would sell a flamethrower? If I would have been Elon Musk, I would have just been like, I'm putting space balls on this. I know, right? I would have, I would have, I would have been like, it's space balls, the flamethrower. There you go, kids. And yet, there hasn't been anybody that's gone into a building like, I'm going to flamethrow everything with this. Watch, uh, now that I said know. that. Hey everybody, let's watch the let's watch the Spaceballs cartoon. Oh god, no. <laughs> uh, I was just, it never existed. I was just waiting for Jesus to go, no, that doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Let's watch the Police Academy cartoon. Actually, from what I can remember uh, actually from what I can remember. It's actually funny. That existed and is actually funny compared to uh, Space Falls. Hey, everybody. Let's watch the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure cartoon. I actually liked that when I was a kid. <laughs> or, or we don't. Hey. Or we could watch. Hey, everybody. King let's Arthur watch Ted Sex. What? Ted Sex? <laughs> Ted <laughs> Sex? Is that intense? What? Wait, wait, wait. You want me to have, want me to have sex? I'm a, I'm a fucking teddy bear. I thought that was the what he was trying to do in that first movie anyway. <laughs> yeah, we did have a lot of sex. Sex! Oh, so, a lot of sex. Uh, oh, how about, I'm uh, uh, probably going to fuck myself a bit. What? How about, how about that Ric Flair restaurant incident? Listen, I just wanted Woo to give me a 12-inch pepperoni pizza. We don't, Mr. Flair, we don't sell pizzas here. But you are a pizzeria. It says so on Wooer logo. <laughs> Sir, that says Chick-fil-A. Now, uh, now listen I, here. I love it. You... I am going to put my sausage all over Wooer Pizza. Now, when you say that, Mr. Flair, do you mean actual sausage or do you mean your wiener? Yes. That doesn't really help. That doesn't answer the question. It just makes me more nervous. Why don't you go to Burger King Stop. instead, Mr. Flair? What the because hell? I don't want to go to Jerry Lawler's stupid little restaurant. I've been there. I would rather go 
to Abdul the Butcher's restaurant and get hepatitis. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, the anonymous TikTok video, which was clearly taken by an employee of uh, the whole altercation, is absolutely ridiculous. Nicholas Dickhead <laughs> calling the freaking restaurant manager that. Yeah, stay, stay classy, right? But his name was Richard Head. It said so. Woo! On his name tag. Thou may just... A satchel of Richards. Yeah, I, I love how uh, the the uh, thing here says yeah. Ric Flair at Paisano's drunk and high on Coca Cola. <laughs> I I didn't had one, one password. God damn it! I took boo the wrong kind of Coke. And I normally, I am a Pepsi man, but not today. <laughs> oh, but I left my skin-tied silver suit. Woo! I know. Said he was a Pepsi man. Is is it me, or is he wearing a freaking Hawaiian shirt that looks like one of his robes? <laughs> and that's all that I was wearing, if you catch my drift. What I'm trying to say... Is that if I undid my robe, you would see my toolbox. My wooner! Please give yourself a thousand dollar tip. This guy and I are cool. That's, he and I are cool. That's, that's what I call I call, I call, I call my wiener. I my call wiener. it my wooner. My wooner. Okay. My because he woos women with it. Yeah, Rick they see Flair. it and they go, Woo! Woo! Get away! <laughs> it oh, smells like cabbage! What? Oh, look at... Is that Ric Flair naked? It's goo-goo time! <laughs> no, it's woo-woo time! In the city. <laughs> Hot time! Oh, Crack time in the city! Charity, He's got like two patrons and four members of the staff all confronting him. He just started chopping the crap out of everybody. Holy crap. Like, he would, wouldn't he? No, like it's it's ridiculous. It's it says here, uh, according to this article, uh Taking issue with an employee who Flair believes was taking too long in the bathroom, apparently. Uh, they, were, they were, they were wooking off. <laughs> How long does it take one person to take a woo? He, he, he posted on social media. Anyone who wants to enjoy a relaxing time in Gainesville at a nice restaurant, never visit this place. Woo! Let me tell you something. You either gotta take a pee, or you gotta take a woo! That's right. When I, and by woo, I mean when poo-poo, or rather woo-woo, comes at your <laughs> And of course, correct myself wrong, the joke wouldn't have made sense. Start a retirement home for professional wrestlers. Well, we had that idea back in the day of Terry Funk, Roddy Piper, and Ric Flair in a retirement home. And now two out of the three of them are dead. Yeah. And the whole joke was Ric Flair just going, ooh, 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 ooh. It's all, yeah, because the dementia got so bad, all I could say was woo. Yeah. Well, then he did that commercial for a freaking local convenience store where I live, where all he says is woo. Woo. Seriously, it, the, the entire commercial is woo. 
Five dollars! Woo! Well, didn't he do something like a, a, a lottery game? I want one of those Woo tickets. Yeah, yeah. He, he's done multiple lottery commercials. That was in Charlotte. Like, South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. It has him on the lottery ticket. Yeah! I did it! I did it! I tell you what, Bomberman, Man, this franchise they, is... They so went hard weird. with the music on this. Yeah, it's good. They did. Ooh. Bomberman, this, this franchise is underrated sometimes, you know? I agree. Oh, yeah. It's damn good. This game, especially, even though it's only single player, it's still good. Like, it's one of the f few single player. I think it might be the only single player Bomberman. The rest they, of them had some make... sort of uh, multiplayer mode to it. Well, they wanted to make an adventure game for it because they wanted to try out the new N64 graphics stuff, you know? Well, this was the second Bomberman game on the N64, actually, Yeah, the first actually, one was too. just... In, the first one was just Bomberman 64. Well, I mean, they wanted to try to expand on it. So they expand decided Dong. to make an adventure game. Mm -hmm. The expand Dong, yes. No, no, see, you don't expand Dong until Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's time to expand Dong. Which, that game isn't even out on the Switch yet. Yeah. Which I'm astonished. But to be honest, it's probably the weakest Donkey Kong game out of all of them. It's a guilty pleasure. I mean, the memory on it was so big, you had to have the expansion port. Yep. Yeah. Folks, we are out of time. Or not. Well, we still gotta talk about it and stuff. The game. <laughs> stuff. Peace. Anyway, uh, yeah, thoughts on, thoughts on Bomberman Hero, Dane? I liked it. Then again, I like most Bomberman games. This one was no different than the other ones I've seen. Which isn't a bad thing, because, yeah, Bomberman is, like, as you guys said, a criminally underrated uh, Jason. Yeah, I'm glad that Konami gives it the time of day every once in a blue moon uh, to shine, uh, considering that there is a new Bomberman game out uh, as of last year, Super Bomberman R2, uh, which isn't isn't a bad game per se. Uh, it's definitely not uh, this game, though, which is quite fun. I, I like the fact that they uh, decided to be a little adventurous and, and give uh, Bomberman a shot at the 3D platformer properly, unlike the first Bomberman 64, which was, oh, let's try to adapt Bomberman to a 3D space. This is more, oh, let's try to adapt Bomberman to a 3D platformer. Billy. Yeah. I've always liked Bomberman. I've probably played just about every one of them except the one on the Xbox. Act but, zero. Good Billy. Calm down. Uh, but yeah, criminally underrated. This should be more prominent. Yeah, Bomberman's always been fun, especially the N64 games. Bomberman 64 was great, and this one, even though, like I said, it's not a multiplayer game, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a very good game. Very well done. Props to Hudson. Scores out of 10, Dane. Nine. Billy. Nine. Jason. Eight. I'm going to give it a nine. On this edition of the show, we played Extreme G, XG2, Knife Edge, Nose Gunner, and Bomberman Hero. Once again, three solid titles. Best game of the episode, Dane. 
Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Next, I'm going to ask you to pick the best game of today's session. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> best game of the episode, um, Dan. What would we play? <laughs> Stream G? Stream GXG2. Knife Edge, Nose Gunner, and Bomberman Hero. I'm going to say uh, Bomberman Hero. Jason. Uh, go with the uh, Boomity Man. Billy. I like the guy that wears the toque on his head that throws the bombs. Uh, Prime Minister <laughs> of Canada. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sam Bomberman. Yeah, Sam Bomberman. Uh, yeah, he's the Prime Minister. <laughs> Sam Bomberman. Justin, great just, man. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Is the Bomberman. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go also with Bomberman Hero. So Bomberman, this is the winner. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forge, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>